We can sort of see, okay, if people are searching by beer, we don't just look at beer. We look at all the different types of ways people are searching for beer. Okay, so this is real, real raw data of people, what people are actually doing. Alright, so we know who, who our customers are, we know what they're doing, we know their behaviour in terms of purchasing and transaction. They're not just coming in the store and then off you go. But we can, we can reach them um, better as well. And it actually creates value, it creates sales. Now what's interesting is that every category and every industry has a different customer journey. Now this is very relative to the food and beverage industry. And this is the particular customer journey. This is sort of the, the, the type of customer journey that you would see someone coming through from a paid ad and then later searching and then later seeing an email, okay? And then coming to the website and converting there. Okay, so that's a typical sort of customer journey. We can also see top conversions. <coughs> so what this means is that we can see there's a different mix. So someone's in, in top, um, sorry, number five here. We can sort of see someone's clicked on an email and come directly to the website and transacted. And up the, up the top there, they've come through from Google and then transacted there. So we can see these different mixes of channels. We can also see the top performing categories. Okay, we can see what, which, which type of wine is doing better and beer and, and so forth and sparkling. We look at all the different types of ways people are searching for beer. Okay, so they're searching by country, they're searching by categories, whether it's craft or low carb. Okay, so this is real, real raw data of people, what people are actually doing. They're also um, searching by the style of beer, whether it's ale, wheat, ginger beer, lager. So it's all sorts of things there, all sorts of variations. When it comes to buying wine online, consumers are, are quite focused on educating themselves and finding out more information. That's, that's really the market we're dealing with now. And we can even see that with the search terms here. So this, these are, these, this is what people are actually typing in. Things are topics around wine, so it's not just about the wine product itself, it's about what you can do with it the benefits of it. Now the good thing is that when we write this information and content we can actually track it and measure it. So we know that it's dr driving X amount of traffic. We know that as a result of that traffic it's actually driven someone to the store page and actually driven a sale. So the buying journey is now research driven, okay? So this is what people are doing. So for instance they'll search a reasons to visit uh, Cabbage and Wildlife Park for example. They'll pick, pick an article, click on that, They'll actually read the article, and maybe when they get up in the morning, try and work out what they're going to do with the kids. Read the article, and and then you can. That's when you can do things like, you know, show them loyalty cards and promotions and stuff like that, and get them interested. Now, if you do enough of this, you can generate a lot of traffic. Mm -hmm.